All right, what's going on my friends? How are you beautiful souls today? Aaron Michael Eschenberg here talking about your daily horoscope. We're talking about more than just a daily horoscope. We're talking about the full moon, spring equinox happening at zero degrees Libra. All right, this is cool, man. This, is, this ties in everything that we've been talking about for weeks. Weeks, okay? Because a big picture comes into light and focus on this new moon. It's happening at 9 p.m. I mean, today is, is Tuesday. It's going to happen at 9 p.m. on Wednesday night. Now we're doing a cacao ceremony, 7 to 10 tomorrow night. So at 9 o'clock, we're doing some serious, intense work to really bring in this full moon energy, to really bring in this equinox as we're pushing through. Now, if you've been following along here, we've been talking about weeks, for weeks we've been talking about the how the planets are aligning is literally creating a new life for us, all right? It is the biggest seed planting in the history of our time. Seed planting meaning, you know, planting the seeds for our personal growth, for our personal life. Um, literally cleaning the plate of years of emotional buildup, baggage, traumas, things that have gone on, you know, whether it's uh, we, we've, you know, experienced love and loss, we've experienced, um, you know, finding your job, your dream job and realizing like, oh, I didn't really, you know, this isn't where I want to be in life or, or thinking that this is what you want. Maybe, I, you know, I needed to buy this house and this thing and you're like, man, actually, I just want an apartment, you know, and, and, and not deal with the grass and all of these things, you know, whatever it is. So it's just like we've we've really come full circle here in a complete new light, in a complete new perspective of the things of what we thought we wanted to where we are to where we're going, all right? So Pisces is the completion. Today is the end of Pisces. The moon is going to, or the sun is going to be at 29 degrees Pisces. This is where Mercury started its retrograde, 29 degrees of Pisces. Now it was there for about three days, all right, just hanging out at 29 degrees of Pisces. It's stationed direct, so it just slowed down and just stopped. And then it started to retrograde backward, backward. So, I mean, it was maybe three or four days, to be honest, that Mercury, which rules our mental thought, the way we communicate with the outside world, stuck at 29 degrees of Pisces, the last degrees of Pisces. And now today it's where the sun is. And we're finally moving to zero degrees Aries tomorrow. Okay, this is the initiation. So, so Pisces is the completion, coming full circle. And now it's like, all right, get out there and start, you know, start the spark. New life, breathing new life into consciousness. Okay, so this new conscious life that we're breathing into is our life. Now the moon, this is fun. So zero degrees Aries is the beginning, the start of the zodiac. The equinox is at the same time as this full moon, which is has not happened in a very long time. I think it's been like 30 years. I don't think it's going to happen again until 2030. I haven't looked that up, to be honest. Uh, in front, I don't have it in front of me. So either way, it, this isn't something that happens often. The equinox on a full moon that's cool, man. And it's zero degrees, zero degrees, the full moon, zero degrees, Libra, zero degrees, Aries, okay? So, so to understand this, the first half of the zodiac, Aries, through Virgo, ending with Virgo, very specific, starting open. This is, you know, this is like open baby, smiling baby. I don't know anything about the world. I don't know anything. I just know what feels good and what feels bad. I'm going to go toward what's good in life. I'm going to go away from what's bad. This face is happy, warm, and inviting. Yeah, pick me up. This face is angry and scowling and gruff. No. You know, I mean, it's very simple. Very, very simple. You know, like, no, I don't want to go toward the angry person. I want to go toward the happy person. That's a very simple aspect of life. You know, this is this child mentality starting fresh. So, so Aries, you know, is, is self. This is the initiation of self. Me and my, you know, and then it becomes me and my what I own. This is Venus. This is Taurus. Okay. This is the personal aspects of Venus and Taurus. My things. This is my book and my phone and my coffee and my whatever, you know. So then we have Mercury and Gemini. This is my thoughts. All right? Nobody can tell me what to think. These are my things. This is my life, my body, Aries. My things, Taurus, Venus and Taurus. My thoughts, my mentality. This is Gemini. 
right? All of these things. It's all the information and my information. And then we get into cancer, uh, home. This is my emotions. <laughs> this, is, this is my emotions. And, you know, no one can feel these, right? We don't know where this love comes from. I don't know why I love this person, but I do. You know, I had something inside. These are emotions that get brought up. I love you. I love you. Right? Then it's Leo, my ego. So we have my things, my, myself, my things, my thought process, my emotions. And now I create my ego. Now it's like, okay. This is the pizzazz, the style I bring to the world, right? The, the way that I walk differently or the way that uh, I express myself. Leo, Leo is like, you know, creative self-expression. Then we have Virgo, which is like, it's just before the balancing scales of Libra, saying yes or no to something. We talked about this yesterday. The moon is in Libra right now, and it will be for the rest of the day, all the way till tomorrow night until 9 o'clock at night. And then right at nine o'clock, boom, zero degrees Libra. So, so it's like um, Virgo is saying yes or no, and it's holding on to these, this balancing scale in Libra. And Libra is these scales of justice. And now we're moving into the other half of the zodiac. The other half of the zodiac, uh, over this way it would be, you know. So Aries through Virgo, self, and what a, you know, Virgo is what I say yes and no to. All right, if that makes sense. So, so the moon in Virgo right now is what I say yes or no to. We've been creating a new life. We've been creating a new life. Now, here's where it gets fun. If you're following along with me, this is where it gets fun and things that start to tie in. We've been creating a new life for ourselves. We've been creating a new vision for ourselves. This is the whole point of the Neptune sextile to Saturn in their home signs. Magic. This is magical goody sauce that just doesn't happen for thousands of years, and we happen to get it in our lifetime. Right? We got... David Bowie and, and uh, you know, Kiss or, or whatever, or Tool or Mariah Carey and Saturn sextile Neptune in our lifetime, right? We have all of these amazing things. The dawn of Aquarius in our lifetime. This is insanely cool. Back to it. Here we go. So we're creating this vision of ourselves, creating a new future, making sure that this plate is completely clean before we pile on this new dish that we're preparing, that we've been working so hard to taste right so we don't want remnants of this leftover old dish as good as it was and it was delicious but we don't want that to affect the taste of this we want this to be a pure clean plate so now as we talked about the moon in virgo the past two days virgo is saying yes or no to certain things virgo is saying yes to this no to this it's very specific very focused okay this very focused thing, we also talk about addiction. Now, addiction can be many, many different things. It can be literally, you know, how many people do we know that are like, don't even talk to me before I have my coffee in the morning. It's like, what you're saying is, don't talk to you until you have the chemicals that your body wants before we can have an honest conversation. You know, we've been talking about sustainability. Now, don't, I have a coffee sitting right here. Don't, don't think for a second that I'm, uh, I'm just talking about these energies, talking about what's going on. So don't think I'm trying to lecture anybody about, you know, to not drink coffee or to, you know, but if that's what you're inspired to do, that's the energy though. This is the energy is saying like, I got to let go of certain these. I got to let go of things that are not, you know, sustainable for me, for my future, for myself to create this new future. Right? So as we've been doing this, all right, here's where we get fun as we get into this full moon talk is our balance between self and others. As Aries is the initiation, the, the sun moving into zero degrees, this is illuminating personal consciousness, okay? The initiation, the spark, new consciousness moving into life, moving forward with everything that we've just been going through, right? And this, this Mercury retrograde that's going on in Pisces, a lot of things are coming to the light. Although Mercury is detriment, which means it's at its, one of its weakest points in the Zodiac, in Sagittarius and in Neptune, which is very interesting as these are the two signs that have to do with expansion, all right? 
while Mercury wants to, you know, be kind of specific about things. So that's why in, in Neptune, it's just like, there's all this stuff. There's all, it's like, yeah, there's the air, then there's the water within the air, then there's the, you know, the atoms in between those pieces of air, then there's the lightning that moves through these, you know, there's like, there's, you know, in like this grand of space, it's just like, we can get lost in the details when Mercury, the messenger, wants to be very specific. So that's why I think some astrologers are saying that this is a, a difficult retrograde, where I feel that this, you know, it's been in, it's been, uh, Mercury's been retrograding in the, in the fire signs for the past couple of years, which has been blah, fiery and aggression and, and our communication, you know, and when it was in Aries, it was going to fry. When it was in Leo, it's just like, I don't know if I can, if I really can do it. And it's been adding to the confusion and the mass global depression that we've been experiencing. Yeah. So, so now that we're in this water sign and we're in Pisces, the sign of completion, the sign of all the contrast, it's not as heavy as, to me as, as I think some of the astrologers or some other people are, are letting to believe. And, and we have this, we have this, you know, Mercury retrograde was not a word that was a household name 10 years ago. It wasn't, you know, you have to, you had to be kind of in tune to astrology. And, and what I see happening now is people were like, oh, Mercury retrograde. And, and here's the reason why, you know, this, and here's the reason why this, and it's just like, okay, we can't use these things. I'm, I'm, I'm a self-empowering astrologer, okay? We cannot use the planets in our natal chart or a Mercury retrograde happening to, to, by default to say why I'm being stubborn or why I'm being a crab or why things aren't going the way that they should be. So I have, I'm giving myself an excuse to act like this. No. No, that's not how we're doing this. That's not the community that we're creating. That's not the life we're trying to create. That's not where we're headed in all of this. Self and others, okay? Self and others. So we are taking personal and self-responsibility. So, okay. So, as we've been creating this new life, right? So let's say, so let's just say, I know some friends that have given up drinking over this. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out as an example. This is a prime example, okay, of, of, of part of this full moon equinox where we've been, what we've been cultivating over wintertime. It's easy to kind of hibernate in wintertime. It's easy to, to go internal, right, especially during this retrograde. It's easy to go internal to figure this stuff out. You know, it's, it's mindful meditation. This is meditation time to go inward to become familiar with myself and what what an Aaron needs, you know, and then further what an Aaron needs to help anyone else in the world. How can I be of service? Right? This is Virgo. How can I be of service? And I'm happen to be a Virgo rising, two degrees Virgo rising. Um, how can I be of service to others? How can I be of service? Right? Now, further, for me to be of service, I need to make sure I'm on point. You know, if I haven't studied astrology, if I haven't done my due diligence in this training, could I sit here and confidently, this is that ego fire, Leo energy, could I confidently sit here and communicate a, a daily, a daily astrology? That seems daunting. Even when I first started, I was just like, oh man, am I really going to start doing dailies? That's a lot. Yes. Yes, I've done enough background, right? I've done enough background. So now here, so coming full circle, right? So if we've given up drinking, let's just use that as an example. So if we've given up drinking, and all of a sudden it's St. Patty's Day. Oh, come on, so-and-so. Come on, Tim, Jane, Mary, whoever, whatever. It's St. Patty's Day. Come have a drink with your friends. No, 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 no. Me, I, self, Aries, self, have started a commitment to myself started a commitment to myself that I'm not drinking right now. Maybe I will in the future, but right now I'm, I've committed to myself that I'm taking a break, that I'm doing something for myself because I see, <laughs> I, I, I have seen where this has, has led me in the past and I have a new vision for where I'm going. Aha, it's starting to come in focus, okay? So, you're going to have friends that are be like, oh, come on, just, st what's a drink? What's it, you know, it's going to happen. I've, I've actually had, even, even as silly as this, you know, 
I'm like, ah, I can't just yet. I've got to sit down and, and, and record a video. You know, it's only take me 10, 15 minutes to, to do this. And I've had friends actually get upset with me and say, for what, a stupid, you know, Facebook or YouTube post? Yeah, but it's important. It's something that I'm creating. It's something that I'm sticking to. It's something that I'm actively pursuing, you know? So it's whether that's starting something like this or whether it's ending something, completion, like, like not, not drinking alcohol or, or stopping, you know, getting off of a bad pharmaceutical drug that maybe has been on for a long time. You know, some people do, like Adderall, doctor prescribed. And they're like, dude, this is one, you know, molecular compound away from meth. I don't care what my doctor says. I know this is wrong for me. Again, this is just the energy and communications that have going on. Um, please, that's not a, <laughs> a lecture. But this is the time of, of letting go of these things, letting go of these things, letting go of these things. And and coming to the full awareness, it's just like, you know, let, let's let's be honest. What a privilege. What a, what a what an absolute um, luxury. Drinking is not a necessity of life. You know, at one point it saved the Michigan. It, it saved it saved the world. It saved uh, the United States anyway. You know, when we boiled water back in the day to make the beer, we realized, oh, we have to boil water. There's there's contaminants in the water. But I mean, you know, it's not a necessary thing. Like if you're you're one of those people that's living on like two dollars a day in a third world country on like two hundred calories a day. Beer is not a necessity daily part of their life, right? So when we look at it here, like, oh, I just want to, you know, that beer, that's finding a feeling. Just like going to, uh, sitting down and doing meditation, that's finding a feeling. Or going to yoga class, or getting high with your friends, or riding a bike. You know, what we're doing is we're, we're aligning ourselves and finding a feeling. So, again, we've talked about some of these things are sustainable, some of them aren't. So now we have the relationship of ourselves and others because our friends are going to want to say, oh, come on, you know, who cares about this stupid post right now? Come and do this. Well, yeah, can we do both? You know, can we do both? Can you wait for me for five, ten minutes? If not, then I've got to stick with my responsibilities because this is my responsibility for myself and commitment to and with for others. And and so is, so is let's say if it's not drinking. My not drinking is a commitment to me and for others. Like... I may, I, maybe I don't like how I am in public when I, you know, if, if I've been drinking. Again, I'm just using this as it's just there, you know what I mean? Um, so we have this balance is what this is all boiling down to of, of like, hey, I'm creating this life. I'm creating this concept. I'm creating this vision. And this vision is shared. This is not a solo journey. So we have to open ourselves up. We have to share certain things with our friends. We have to share things with our loved ones, with our family, on where we're going, on where we see ourselves. And some people are going to say, this is a dumb idea, or they're going to try to give you advice. Or I mean, when I was getting into the film industry, I had a lot of people that were like, oh, dude, everybody wants that job. Everybody wants to do it. You know, what? why even bother, you know? And I was just like, well, but somebody has to do it. Somebody has to fill this, you know, somebody has to be the rock star. Somebody has to, you know, be a creator. Somebody has to be a painter. Somebody has, to, you know, it's just like everybody is doing something. So there's a lot of, you know, like negative Nancy's out there that'll tell you why you can't do something. And it's just like, well, somebody has to do it. So you might as, I might as well, I'll, I was happy to do it. And then, and then afterward, it was just like, oh, well, good for you. You know, you, you actually made it. It's like, oh, well, thanks for all your support back then when you were trying to tell me that I couldn't, you know? So it's like, no, you can do this. You can live the life of your dreams. You can successfully go out and create the job that you want. You can successfully find the people and gravitate toward and, and hold that energy, you know? And sometimes, yeah, we might lose some friends along the way. And if they're good friends, if they're, if they're true to us, then it'll just be a little blah, 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 blah and kind of fall apart and come back, you know? Cause that happens and that happens it's good people good people it doesn't matter like we all floaties wow um we're gonna we're you know we're creating a new life we're creating a new vision and there is a serious balance between self and others self and others you know we it's like if i i need to lift weights and i want to be strong so that when you say aaron come help me move i'm not throwing my back out so i can be useful so I can be useful to others, 
right? I sit here and I practice music, playing music. So that way when we come together, we can play, you know, music together. We can, you know, you know what I mean? So there's, there's a balance. There's a reason for us to do our own internal work. And it's not for selfishly hoarding it for just, for just ourselves. I'm going to put on a one-man show of singing bowls just for me, you know? Like, yeah, it just sounds great. It sounds great to just play your guitar. But, you know, eventually it's just like bringing this out, bringing this out to the world and sharing your talents with others. Sharing your talents with the world. And staying strong and committed to yourself. Staying strong and committed to whatever it is that's going on. This path that we are creating. Staying true, staying committed, staying on point, staying focused. And to not be upset with yourself as well, I'll say this. If you did, if you did, if you've been, you know, like, oh, I've been two months sober and I, I, I haven't drank. And you know what? Yeah, my friends actually did tell me to come out on St. Patty's Day and I had a green beer. Don't be hard on yourselves if that's the case. There's a, there's a reason we kind of wiggle. We can, we can fall back because this is still learning. This is still a learning process to not to beat ourselves up right now and to just take it in. Take it in for what it is. Allow and accept. And to remain focused. Remain focused on our path. Because we are just getting started. Okay? That is the sun moving into zero degrees Aries. We are just getting started on this journey. Spring is finally here, right? And it's celebrating in an awesomely huge way with this mega full moon on the equinox. New light, new life is coming. New love is on the horizon, right? Just coming into alignment with these and staying true to ourselves, true to our path, true to our purpose. And our friends are going to be there along the way, some to encourage, some to discourage, which is going to create encouragement, okay? When they start saying, I don't think you can do that, you say, I know I can, you know? And then watch the Fire Festival movie just uh, for encouragement as well. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a fun one, you know, where it's like, I'll, I'll shout that out. You know, this, this guy had such, a, uh, such an interesting mindset, but he didn't trust anyone that, you know, he didn't trust any of his strong peers. <laughs> you know, of course, I got to end it on this, this uh, the opposite side of the spectrum, what I've just been communicating about. But there's one dude, if you watch that Fire Festival movie, holy smokes, the Netflix one was really good. Hulu was a little, eh, but whatever. Moons in Virgo, we have opinions, right? Yes or no? That one's a good one. So you know this guy, he's he, he he's such a he's such a strong mindset that's like we have a, a, an attitude of uh, what was it like overcoming? There's no there's no obstacles. There's only there's only you know advancements and opportunities, which is like it's a good mindset. It really is a good mindset to have. But then he's got literally so many people around him so many people that are that are wiser and they have the experience we'll put it that way experience not unexperienced people telling you you can't or shouldn't do something very experienced people giving sound advice so here's the other hand of this spectrum so not just people trying to steer you off or saying you can't do something because you can't do it but giving sound advice on something you might shock him and come through, but if you've seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. To where is a point where it's just like, dude, you had a million people sitting here telling you this is going to fall flat on its face unless we do something about it. And he ignored every single, every single way. And then, you know, the guy's in prison. So there is a balance, a true balance between following ourselves, following our own fire, following our own intuition block putting our horse blinders on and ignoring other people because we have this mission we have this path and then doing it ignorantly and arrogantly to where you're not actually taking in sound advice from experienced people you know it's like I, you know it's oh my god there's turbulence the plane is gonna crash the plane is gonna crash it's gonna crash and it's just like okay there's the, your you know your stewardess over there just pouring coffee like it's no big deal hey i think you're gonna be okay bud drink the water drink the coffee whatever it is so this is balanced there's no clear-cut answer there's no clear-cut answer 
It's about balance. Our self, our relationship with ourself, our path of where we're going, how we, how we succeed in creating this path for others, in doing work for ourselves, for others, in doing, in doing, uh, um, you know, ignoring, ignoring the naysayers while also taking in the advice. Balance, this full moon balance, Libra and Aries. All right, I hope you have an amazing full moon equinox. I hope it comes into light, whatever is coming in, you know, comes into complete focus as the moon is moving through Libra or moving through Virgo saying yes or no. You know, the final hours today and tomorrow saying yes or no. What am I leaving behind to create this new life? What am I saying yes to? What am I focusing my attention on and like a laser beam? It goes out and we launch those rockets of desires. All right. <laughs> Happy full moon. We've created also Honest Astrology Group. If anybody wants, this is more of a contribution page. Like everybody, you know, the Honest Aim page is just kind of my personal blog and me sharing all of this stuff with people. But this one is more for every everybody, you know, like just chime in how the retrograde's treating you, how, hey, my, you know, this is a zero degree, zero degree. So if you're a Capricorn or a Cancer, you got something at zero degrees, you're getting hit hard. My, my moon in North Node is at two degrees Cancer. You know, my sun is opposite, born on a full moon, lunar eclipse. So um, this, this, this one is hard squares to me, right? Mega change. So it's like, what's going on in your life? Do you know your own chart? How is this stuff hitting you? Talk about it. Join us in the group, Honest Astrology. Check it out. I hope if you're in the Metro Detroit area, I see you on Wednesday night, tomorrow night for the full moon uh, in Troy. We're doing this cacao ceremony. It's going to be a good one. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.